Hey guys, so today I'm coming with a new makeup look. This is inspired by fall slash autumn. It's like my favorite season because I love the makeup and the outfits to get to wear. So if you guys would like to see how I did this, then keep on watching. So first I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face using the oil-free moisturizer by Glow Therapeutics. <laughs> Then I'm going to use my YSL Blur Primer and apply that in areas where I have large pores. So y'all already know I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in number 338. So I'm going to use my hands, I know that is weird, but I actually learned this trick from Sandra Deluxe and let me tell you, it is game changing because it applies your foundation so smoothly, so don't judge until you try it. I'm going to use this foundation brush from Coastal Scents and I'm going to highlight with the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer in the color Light Medium. I'm going to use this concealer brush and I'm going to outline above my eyebrows using my foundation. Next, I'm going to be using this Bella Pierre Banana Setting Powder and I'm going to bake using this flat top foundation brush. Now I'm going to use that same concealer that I highlighted with earlier and I'm going to outline underneath my eyebrow. I also blended this and applied this all over my lid to use as my primer for my eyeshadow. So the palette I'm going to be using is the BH Cosmetics Modern Neutrals and I'm going to take this white shadow to set my eyelid. Using a blending brush, I'm going to take this light orange shade and this is going to be my transition shade. I'm going to apply this in my crease blending upwards. Now I'm going to take my Luxie 140 brush and I'm going to take this burnt orange shade and I'm going to apply this directly in my crease. I'm going to take this shadow brush and I'm going to use this grayish brown color and apply this all over my lid. So 
Don't forget to blend and reapply if necessary. I'm just taking this powder brush and dusting off the excess setting powder. Now I'm just taking this small flat brush using the same colors we use on our eyelid in the same order. I'm going to be blending this in our lower lash line. Now I'm going to bronze with the Beauty Crop Bronzer in the color Tannery. Now I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills double-sided brush and use that bronzer to contour my nose. For my blush, I'm going to take the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Kirky. I'm going to apply that all of my cheeks using the Fera 50F brush. To highlight, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I'm going to use the color Moonstone and apply this on my cheekbone, my brow bone, as well as my tear duct. Oh, and don't forget that nose highlight. Can't forget that nose highlight, girl. Now I'm going to take the Pixie Eye Pen in the color Opal Overcoat and apply this in my waterline. For my eyeliner, I'm going to take the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Mad Max Brown. Now I'm going to take the Benefit Bad Girl Mascara and apply this on my upper and lower lashes. Don't ask me why that was upside down, I didn't realize until after. Now I think this is the Ardell Wispies eyelashes, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to apply that off camera. For my lip liner, I'm going to use a Jordana Easy Liner in the color Carbonate. And for my lips, I'm going to take the NYX Lip Cream in the color Budapest. Is that correct? Budapest? This is optional, but I was breaking out like a mother, so I wanted to camouflage that by adding some freckles using my Kat Von D liner. 
I'm going to take that flat top brush that had a little bit of the setting powder earlier and I'm going to soften the freckles a little bit. Alright, so that is my fall autumn makeup look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and comment down below what other makeup looks you guys would like to see.